Hello, this is Rice Snow. Today I'm going to explain how to make a color palette and place it or use it in your program. So a while ago I made a video about how to choose RGB color for your object. And then recently I received a comment and I was asked, so is there any way to place a color palette on your program? So that's what we are going to do today. Actually it's not so difficult, I think because Java already has a class to, to do that. So let's start. So let's start here. Name. And public main. Uh, first, it's a usual stuff, so we're gonna create a window. Yeah, this is a uh, usual stuff we have done, I don't know, maybe 25 times already. And uh, okay, oh, wait a minute, let me import this color. Okay, so from here we're gonna do something new. So to make this color palette, we're gonna use a class called uh, J color chooser. And I'm gonna name this is uh, CC color chooser and import this. And also, I'm gonna make J panel panel here. And uh, I'm gonna name this color chooser panel and import this. So first, we're gonna create this panel and then create this J color chooser and place this color palette on this panel. So that's what we're gonna do. So color chooser panel equal new J panel. And uh, color chooser panel. And set the bounds. Okay, it's uh, 150, 600, and uh, 300 or something. And uh, then color choose a panel, set background, color, uh, let's choose black or maybe blue for now and let's add this panel to this window uh, color choose a panel and also let's make this window visible true okay let's check this okay so we made a panel here color chooser panel here and so now we're gonna create this uh, j color chooser and place place this on this panel so okay so first cc color chooser cc equal new j color chooser instantiation and uh, okay let's uh, place this on this color chooser panel so color chooser panel dot add and uh, cc okay let's check how it looks like yeah so like this hmm. yeah so this is basically a j color chooser and uh, but not everything is displayed so I think we should enlarge this panel a bit more so not 300 but uh, maybe I don't know 400 yeah so every, now everything is displayed and so this is the how to say default view of this J color chooser and uh, 
there are five pane or tops here and uh, this is now displayed in Japanese. I think that's because uh, it uses the system language or something. So I think if you are using a, like a English Windows or you know English OS, then I think uh, everything should be displayed in English. So but anyway, so it says swatch here and uh, HSV top and uh, HSL and uh, RGB and the CMYK. So you can use these five uh, five tops and so you can choose this color and uh, this is a preview preview window so and also the color you recently picked are uh, displayed here so yeah so it works like this so you, you can choose color like this then how to apply these colors to your program so uh, I'm gonna make another panel around here and uh, if you pick up a color then this panel's color changes to the color that you just picked up so that's what we're gonna create next okay then uh, let's make another J panel and uh, I'm gonna name this color panel color panel panel and uh, what uh, no no huh? uh, new new j panel color panel set bounds uh, 200 400 maybe and uh, 400 and 100 or something so, uh, let's choose white and add this to the window Okay, let's check this okay I think this color chooser panel is hiding part of this new panel so uh, let's change this to maybe 350 hmm okay then uh, uh, maybe or 20 also let's change this to black okay so like this and but now even if you choose a color uh, nothing changes uh, of course because we haven't written anything about it so we're gonna use a thing called uh, change listener and it, it's kind of a similar to action listener so by using this change listener we can apply the color to this panel or any other objects or anything hmm okay so to use this uh, change listener uh, here so we're gonna add change listener to this j color chooser and so we're gonna type like this first cc dot get selection model and dot add change listener and we need to input an argument here and this time we're gonna type just this and what it says hmm okay and also we're gonna implement this change listener to this main class so implement uh, change this now this now uh, okay this is mm, okay and also so just like uh, 
action listener and action performed method. So we're gonna make a method that corresponds to this change listener here, public void, and uh, this method name is state changed and change event and e. So this is like a default format for this change listener. So just like uh, action performed for action listener. And inside of this method, uh, first we're gonna create this color and name this new color and equal uh, cc. We're gonna use this color chooser dot get color. So what this mean is uh, so basically so we get color color information that you chose from the palette and uh, put the, uh, put the color into this new color. So now we can apply this new color to this color panel. So next line is color panel set background and new color. Okay, I think this is done. So let's check this. Okay, so let's choose a color. Hmm. Yeah, so like this. So you can use this one too. Or RGB. Yeah, like this. Hmm. So that's how you use this uh, J color chooser. So this tutorial is basically done, but uh, but maybe you know uh, some of you would think you know I don't need this preview window you know or uh, I don't need uh, five panels. I only need this RGB or like a CMYK or this uh, swatch. So actually there, there is a way to remove this stuff. So I think I'm gonna explain how to do that as well. So first, so if you don't need this preview window, then uh, so first to remove preview uh, panel, then you type like this cc dot set preview panel and uh, new j panel. So that's it. Let's check this. And now uh, that preview panel is gone. In my understanding, this means uh, you just put, uh, you just place a blank J panel on this preview panel. So since panel is blank, so nothing is displayed. So there is no command like uh, remove preview panel or stuff like that, but you just place blank J panel and so you can like uh, hide this preview panel so but apparently this is the official way because I I saw it on the Oracle's website so I thought it's a bit funny but anyway it's, it, it works perfectly and now let's talk about these uh, tabs or pane so there are five tabs here and so if you want to remove these tabs or one of these tabs then uh, you can type like this and so here to remove uh, the panes uh, you type like this cc dot remove to the panel and bracket uh, cc dot get chooser panels and round bracket then uh, another bracket here so this is the basic format and uh, you just need to input the number here uh, from 0 to 4 Actually, each pane has a number, and this this one is zero, and this one, two, three, four. 
So for example, if we want to remove this CMYK, then uh, you just need to type 4 here. Okay, let's check this. Yeah, like this. So now CMYK is gone. And uh, if we want to remove this HSV, and then uh, you need to type 1. So, okay, let's copy this and uh, here. Uh, so 1. Then now uh, HSV is also gone. So, so let's make everything. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And uh, okay. Let's comment out this for now because I want to explain. Uh, okay, here. So, 4 is CMYK, CMYK, and the uh, next one is RGB, I think, RGB, and uh, HSL, HSV, and uh, swatch, hmm, okay, so for example, if you if you want to use this first one, swatch only, then uh, in that case, you don't need to use this remove zero, but remove everything else. Yeah, so like this. Or, uh, you know, you only need this RGB, then uh, then you disable this one. Then everything but RGB will disappear. Yeah, like this. And so you can use this one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you use a color palette on your program. So thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.